It's about 7.30 in the morning and we're just about to go up this huge mountain, attempt to go up this huge mountain called Akau Blala, which is in Utai Thani province. Uh, yeah, yeah, not feeling that great about it right this moment, but we pumped ourselves full of coffee, so hopefully that'll be enough. the mountain is uh, very rapidly looking bigger and bigger and higher and higher. Are we really going to go up to the top? It does, it from this angle, it does look pretty daunting, doesn't it, Jim? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> look at this, look. It's certainly steep and looking at how high it is up there I can't see any way that it's going to be anything but steep all the way. Here we go. About five minutes in starting to build up a sweat already but the view's opening up a bit into the valley and they've got, uh, they've got railings here which is uh, which is quite nice, makes things a bit easier. You've got something to hang on to, at least for this first section. If you think, if they're living on the plateau, they're gonna have places where they came up, went down. They're gonna have multiple ways up and down. They're gonna have places where they grew crops. They're gonna have places where they came down to hunt. So there has to be tools, right? There yeah. has to be remnants of fire, yeah. cooking, tools, yeah. hunting, spears, arrows, something like that. I'm not saying we're gonna find them, but they're up there clearly, aren't they? Oh yeah, for sure. Let's, have, let's, let's find them. Let's find something. <laughs> <laughs> find the remains. <laughs> so far, this is reminding me of the campfire scene in uh, Easy Rider. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> the Venusians. <laughs> Video has seven deadly mistakes of hiking in Thailand. <laughs> Definitely taking it easy, not rushing into it is, is key. Yeah, I've made that mistake a few times. So I look at that one, if that was a shelter or something. I can see it's a shelter. It's raining, but not there. up here thinking when are we going to get to the shop and JB Wonders is looking for tools. <laughs> 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 The unfamiliar trail really have got no idea the trail's going to develop. No idea what it's going to look like at the top, whether we get nice views down or not. We know there's some uh, caves with some paintings and apart from that, not a lot else.
Did it say that 320 above sea level? 320 above sea level? Because we've passed that. Yeah, if it's 320 from up in elevation from the start, that'll be about uh, 447 metres on this. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice bird song, no idea what it is. So we're above 400 meters in altitude now. So I was at above, above about 1300 feet. Feels a little bit cooler. Because I'm a bit of an ancient history geek. Because I'm a bit of an ancient history geek. Oh, this is real, real Thai Siamese history. This, this is, uh, this is like millenniums before Yul Brenner. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, this is opening up. Look, you can see the cliffs over here. Yeah, this is the western yeah. face now. We're starting to open up here now, look. Jut Chom View, yeah, viewpoint. That sign says viewpoint. Yeah. They're building something here, they're building an observation. Yeah, they are, yeah. Building an observation place, that's what they're doing. It's, it's nice up here, so I think if they build something here, they'll probably chop the tree or two down, it'll, it'll be a nice view. Yeah. They've got a kettle up here. Give it six months, there'll be somebody selling cold beer. Yeah. Now look, it opens up, we're staying down in that valley down below there somewhere. Look, it opens up, we're right at the peak here. On the western face, and now the, the cave paintings are going to be just down there somewhere else. Here with a little old co-work, definitely people slept there. There's no way that someone didn't sleep in here. Look at that. <laughs> Caveman's bedroom. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a nice little recess, isn't it, that one? That'd still be cosy though, wouldn't it? Get an air mattress and sleeping bag. Yeah, absolutely, that'd be Lovely a great spot now. Look, two ways in and out, Carl. Yeah. Looks like we, we're there. Yeah. This is it. This tree is a pine, a thousand years old. There's four types of pine, only this one. Show people with their pets, apparently they're dogs. Um, there's necks out here, show. Yeah, yeah, people. There's necks right here, look. Heaps, like. yeah. Their relationship with buffalo and <laughs> how they used to catch them and then bring them in. And uh, up there, look, that looks like space invaders. 3,000 year old space invaders. Wow. Yeah, they seem, to, they seem to play a lot into the herding of the buffalo, don't they? Yeah. Seems to have been top important. Right, the top right of those three creatures, though. Yeah. So it's quite spectacular here. 
this little thing, it's like a cliff face wall and almost like a cave, you know, it, it reminds me a bit of that, that tall bit at the top of uh, Chalam Latanagrisi National Park. Very similar. But of course, on the walls, they've got these cave paintings. There's some pictures up there. I'll try to zoom in on them. There's a couple of uh, little animal pictures. I've taken pictures of them in case it doesn't come out on the video. It's not too clear. Uh, just above that cupboard there. I think I've got them in there. In the centre of the frame there, it's a picture of two animals next to each other, a buffalo and elephant. It's really hard to see, hard to make out. Johnny boy and Billy boy coming back from the hunt with a with a cero or the animals or something. And Chased by a tiger. Yeah, Marjorie cooking up a cooking up a storm over there. Oh, he's probably got his harem up here. Look, three or four birds waiting for him. Happy days. I don't know. How I'm getting down again though. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible, really. I mean, you think just what did these pictures represent? I mean, it, that kind of looks like a half, kind of looks like half man, half monkeys. I mean, what are they? What are them two creatures behind the bigger creature, you know? Are they wearing clothes? Just. Yeah, those ones are a bit more obvious. So it's in uh, Utai Thani province and it's called uh, Khao Blala. And it, it's lovely, you know, there's a lovely little valley at the bottom and uh, it reminds me of little bits of Wales, you know, you get all them kind of uh, little places that people use as bases for hiking and that. And there's the trail that comes up here and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it was very steep in places, but, it, you know, it, it, it's probably about two kilometres and you probably, the probably total ascent is probably about 400 metres, something like that. Not too bad at all. Well worth a trip. Last night we stayed at this lovely place. Uh, the Thai sign says Hupadad Homestay. So it's Hupadad Homestay, or just get a Thai person to sort of uh, look it out for you. Phone them up. Here's the phone number. But yeah, beautiful place to stay, really nice. And uh, the trail that we walked up the mountain was only just sort of down there on that corner. So location wise, it was just absolutely perfect. Had a great night's sleep. The people were very helpful, prepared us a, a little breakfast this morning, seven o'clock this morning. Thoroughly recommended. Hukpatat Homestay. And just look at the location, right at the foot of the mountain. Beautiful.